also really the, the services they are providing both for the elderly and for the young people. I think they are really marvelous. And my comments just now to these people is that I think the services need to have greater publicity. I think many people do not know. I don't even know. <laughs> and even when I look at the word family service center, I thought it's just catering for financial help. If I want, if we have some problems, I will wait to see them. So I think and it will be so beautiful and truly uh, beneficial. There are so many Catholic schools in Singapore. And the, if these will make room to them, because sometimes we don't even know where to refer them for help. And so I think the importance of publicity, and it is true, you know, particularly when I became bishop, then I got into contact with Kamitas. I think you know, we have really three athletes, and two thirds of these athletes, I don't even know them at all. <laughs> I don't even know they exist. <laughs> And the people know that they actually associated with Caritas, the with the Catholic Church. If I do not know, you just imagine how many priests know. <laughs> and if so many priests know, you can be sure our Catholic population do know. So I think this is really something for us to pay attention to. And I'm, as I said, I'm really impressed that uh, you are doing what is necessary. As we know that Singapore is an aging population and I'm preparing to go to that stage and on the way, <laughs> just like you all. At the same time, there is this widening of what we call poverty gap between the rich and the poor. These are all things that we have to attend to and life in Singapore is really tough for young people. I'm glad I'm 57. <laughs> because for your young people, it's really a challenge today. More and more difficult in Singapore really to uh, live your life meaningfully and with all the demands, many of the young people just succumb to the pressures of life. So let me conclude by saying this, uh, whatever we do, whatever we do, let us put Christ in our hearts, whether you have a religion or not. I think just by using our humanity alone, we cannot do much because I can tell you as a priest, doing social work is very, very demanding. All of you are social workers, counseling on this, nah? that's why my hair all <laughs> It takes a lot of energy. You cannot do this without the strength that comes from God. And I believe therefore, a person who wants to lead others to counsel others, he himself must first do that. So if you have a prayer life, if you have deep faith in God, those of you who are priests have deep faith in Christ, that will teach you how to communicate with these people, how to really see God in them. And most of all, you pray for strength for God to guide you. Because there are many problems, I tell you honestly, we cannot solve without the grace of God. So even when I help people, I'm praying for them all the time and ask God to not only give me wisdom, but to help these people when I find myself at this. So, I want to say thank you to each one of you, to the staff, to the volunteers. And let me end with a quotation by St. Louis Marie de Montfort to show that we are all a wanted boy. <laughs> So St. Louis Marie Monta says, those whom the world rejects must move you the most. And therefore, indeed, when you recognize all these people whom the world rejects and we identify with them, we truly bring the love of Christ to them 